Buddies, welcome back. You know what? Priyanka and I, we spend about two hours every single day at the gym. Now, there's this huge misconception in our country that gym only means that you got to pump your body up to 20 inch biceps. No. Fitness is primarily staying fit, not building your body. Bodybuilding is a completely different uh, concept altogether. Okay. In order to be successful, you got to work hard. And to work hard, you got to be fit. And staying fit means increasing your stamina. Because, you know what? I can work for three days almost flat out with just about one hour of sleep in a day, in 24 hours. That is the amount of effort you have to put in. in in case you wish to do something groundbreaking, if you wish to be an entrepreneur or something serious in life. I will keep posting important updates about fitness and also make simple videos about how to keep yourself fit in the upcoming videos. But this video is about my riding boots, which I absolutely love. And in my previous video where I showed about 70% of my motorcycle riding gear collection, uh, many of you asked me to review my riding boots and Srujan, please come closer. So today we are going to be talking about these boots by Zeus. Okay, Zeus has been in the Indian motorcycling uh, gear uh, industry for a very, very long time. This company is owned by my good friend Ritesh and you know why I love these boots so much? because of a few key features. But before that, let me tell you why you should wear riding boots. I have been riding motorcycles for a very long time, you know that. But very recently, people have started to understand the importance of riding gear. But even now, very, very high number of people neglect buying riding boots. People are buying helmets, People are buying riding jackets, gloves also, but riding boots, very, very few people buy. Why should you actually buy riding boots? Because many people think that they can just wear Nike, Adidas or any kind of sportswear, uh, sports shoes when they are riding motorcycles. But no, absolutely no. Or even Woodland or any of the leather boots. Those are kind of better, but no sports shoes at all. I'll tell you a story. Even I did not realize how important these kind of riding boots are. If not the full length, at least the ankle length. Why are they so important? I met a friend back in 2014. Okay, I was also very new to riding gear at that point of time because in India we hardly had any good riding gear at that time. And I was talking to that friend. I mean, we just became friends that time in 2014. And he got off his shoe and I was shocked. I said, what happened? You know what? He was uh, wearing footwear like this. Okay, he got off his shoe and he did not have any toes at all. Oh my God. I said, what happened? And he told me that he was riding his motorcycle at about 90 kilometers an hour. And an unfortunate event, he fell. And this part hit the tarmac, the road. And this part just got cut. The shoe got cut, his toes got cut, destroyed and the doctors had to amputate his toes. This is how serious it is, okay? And that is the time I realized that we got to wear riding boots, okay? Because riding boots have different features than these kind of shoes. I gave this example to you guys before also. I will keep mentioning this example to you guys till the time you don't buy riding boots, all right? And also remember, if you wear short boots, or short shoes like these. Okay, these are shoes, these are not boots. If you wear short shoes like these, these don't have any ankle protection. Okay, your ankle is absolutely free. And in case you fall and this hits the ground, that is the road, this ankle will just snap. It will break 99.9%. Okay, your ankle is probably the weakest and most complicated joint on your body. I know this very well because my mom in the year 2017, January, she was uh, playing with Sid in a park and uh, she just slipped 
She just slipped and she fell and her ankle got bent. And you know what? It broke. This can happen to people. It has happened to many people. So now, coming back to the riding boots. Why should someone put in some considerable amount of money in riding boots like these? Because I mentioned about the toes part. Now, riding boots have these metal toes. Okay. Hmm? Buy only those riding boots which have metal toes, not plastic ones. See this. This is metal, all right? Now, also inside, it is really, really, really tough, okay? Some boots also have uh, metal uh, kind of, uh, you know, casing inside. But even if that is not there, you can buy with a metal slider, okay? So in case of a fall, even if this hits the tarmac or a racetrack at very high speeds, your toes will still get saved. Next thing is the ankle protection. Now, if I wear these kind of boots and in an unfortunate event, if I fall and my foot hits the ground, here, if I'm wearing these kind of sports shoes or any shoes which are only till here, if my foot hits the ground, it is just gonna break. The ankle is gonna break. But here, you see this? With all the force that I can put, my ankle will be in place okay and this also has reinforcements here where your ankle is not going to snap or break all right this is very very important feature so your toes are getting saved and your ankle is getting saved okay and also this part of your body this part of your leg is weak i mean the bone is directly exposed here okay no matter uh how much work you do in the gym or even if you have some excess weight on your body but here the bone would be exposed so that is the reason riding boots have a lot of protection here you see this solid protection okay so these are the basic features of any riding boots i'm not saying that only buy zeus because i know the brand no buy any riding boots which you can afford but these key features have to be there. Okay, remember that. This is for fast riding. I'll also do more videos where you can buy boots for easy rides, city rides and all that. They'll come up in the next videos. And the reason why I absolutely love these uh, Zeus boots over other boots. I also have many other brands, international brands, Indian brands, but these Zeus boots have this. That is, when you put your okay uh, let me let me actually put my uh, foot inside and show it to you i personally haven't seen this feature in any of the indian uh, motorcycle riding boots or racing boots see this okay this part comes out like this okay generally boots by indian brands don't have this this protection and this fastener this is called a fastener, means that you can tighten this, okay? Now, open it up like this, and I'm gonna put my right foot inside. And remember, riding boots gotta be tight fit, okay? That is for fast rides. We'll, we'll talk about comfort rides later on, but this, this video is for fast rides, and this video is for racing on the racetrack, okay? Any highway ride is also a fast ride, remember that. Anything over 90 kilometers an hour is, 80 kilometers an hour is fast. So now, Srujan, please show here. If you can get a little closer, okay? First, zip it up, okay? And now, then, take this part, put it here, and this has a lever where you keep doing this and we are tightening this you can tighten it as much as you want and here you're still seeing a little gap because my pants are not inside okay if i have leather pants or any other riding pants this whole part would be proper snug fit now 
this see it completely restricts my ankle movement beyond what is needed you only need a little bit of ankle movement for the rear brake and for the left uh, foot you need it for the gear shifting okay so this part is amazing this fastener and it's tough i mean my whole foot is secured right now all right so surjan thank you very much please get up and another thing is these boots also have very highly secured uh back the okay, back side of your uh foot so you see this there's a hump really 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 good protection here okay whenever you buy riding boots they could be ankle length they could be uh very high end boots like these or they could be just touring boots but remember you're not going to like them the moment you buy them i remember in 2014 or 13 i bought my first set of riding boots they were ankle length and i was hating myself i don't like to use the word hate but i was hating myself that oh my god what have you bought vikas i can't walk i can't move my ankle but you will get used to them you will understand how to ride with them understand how to walk with them because they are meant to be tight okay and uh, so don't buy a set of riding boots and uh, wear them for two days and sell it on noelx saying that oh god man i can't wear these don't do that take time to get used to them and whenever you wear any kind of riding boots remember to wear thick cotton socks like what i'm wearing right now okay these are from jockey uh, and thick cotton socks don't wear nylon socks thin socks because uh, you will get sweat and you will feel uncomfortable after that although these boots have amazing uh, you know lining inside you see this really really good uh, lining this will absorb sweat and also give you a lot of comfort any most of the riding boots have this you check any riding boots that you're buying any brand check this comfort inside all right hmm? also very important okay very often i see that the rider is geared up well and his girlfriend wife anyone or a lady friend who's a pillion she's wearing sandals and chappals and uh, you know he's she's on his bike come on guys if you say you love her or if she's your friend when I mean, she might not know about all this these kind of safety tips but get her at least some decent uh, boots okay i know it's not easy to buy riding boots for her also it's expensive she might not ride with you very often but what i did for priyanka for her foot size i could not find riding boots so easily so instead of i mean again i was not sure that if she would ride very often with me or not so i didn't want to spend considerable amount of money on riding boots for her so i went to decathlon and i bought horse riding boots for her yes it works you know so use your logic you can do that take care of the women who are riding pillion with you that's it buddies and in the end if you want to buy any riding boots shoot an email to me okay uh you my email address i'll put it in the description or you can just make a note of it r v k vikas v i k s at gmail.com send an email to me and i will try to reply to you with suggestions okay i understand it can get confusing what to buy and uh, that's it buddies thank you very much if you like these kind of important videos do give this uh, uh, video a like and do think about subscribing to this channel if you're not subscribed thank you take care